Hey there, gamer peeps. Welcome back to my devlog for Feast of Fiends. Well, kind of. For those of you who have been paying attention, I obviously took a break for a little while. For almost six months. And for those of you who are oddly curious as to why I took said break, let me explain it to you. To put it in the simplest way possible, like many creatives, I got a bit overwhelmed. I had concept art to show, and I was ready to break down the entire modeling process. I started to model the blockout character for Feast of the Fiends, and I even had a simple rig on him. Then, all I really had to do was cut the video and narrate over it. Everything was going really well. Then I had the idea of venturing more into a tutorial realm for videos. Instead of going for this whole virtual journaling, here's what I did last week route for content, I planned on going in more of a here is how you model a character for a game type content. Basically, I was gaming the algorithm trying to make the content that people search for. Thanks, YouTube. It was a solid plan, I thought. And then I remembered, I have no idea what I'm doing, and no one should be listening to me. I'm an imposter. And if you aren't immediately triggered by that statement, for those of you uninitiated into the world of being a creator, let's talk a little bit about being an imposter. Let's talk a little bit about imposter syndrome. It's very common to most people who make anything. Imposter syndrome is basically thinking you are sneaking under the radar. Somehow you are in a position that you are unqualified for, and someone is going to find out that the real you shouldn't be in that role. That secretly you are impersonating someone much better than yourself. You get the sinking suspicion that you are actually terrible and you're ruining everything, and anyone who says anything else is really they're just lying to you. The only saving grace is kind of... No one's caught you yet. You're just lying to everyone, pulling the wool over their eyes. But the caveat is that you always think one day, someone's gonna catch you. And since I'm being honest, this is a feeling I get often. I'll start working on something and I'll get lost in these big dreams about it. And then I'll start thinking big dreams about myself. And then I catch a glimpse of myself in the metaphoric mirror. And then I start to question what I thought I was doing dreaming so big. Big dreams are for people who can actually do things and do them well. I don't see that kind of person when I look in the mirror. So do I pretend and I fake it until I make it? Or do I accept my lot in life and simply stop trying? This is something most people who create suffer from. We try to do things that most people look at as hobbies. We ourselves question the validity of our crafts. Unless you are considered the top in your field of expertise, you're often looking at a sea of people just as good, if not better than you. There's no shortage of savants, and there never will be. In my experience, there is always someone younger than me and better than me already doing what I'm dreaming of doing. If any of you have dealt with similar issues in the past, know that you are not alone, and I'd love to hear your stories. But the thing I found to remember when I'm in these moments questioning if I should or shouldn't, if I can or can't, is that no matter how good or bad I am, the important thing is that you are out there trying. Because as Yoda says, Do or do not. There is no try. If you were doing something, anything at all, you're already far beyond those who only think about doing, no matter how good they are. I have met many people better than me at many different things, yet I've come further than they have. Not from being better, but from actually doing it. So where have I been? Dreading opening up the clips, afraid to let the world see me actually doing something I'm supposed to know how to do. And instead of showing anyone anything of value, I feared showing them how much I don't know. How can I be in a position to teach anyone anything? The things I make aren't even any good. I went to college for this, and this is what I can show for it? I'm sus. I'm an imposter. And honestly, everyone knows it. So, 
where have I been? I've been in a mental state of paralysis, overwhelming myself with big dreams. I thought and rethought the project, and I was biting off more than I could chew. I was adding even more and more to my plate. Chances are, this project would barely get recognized, so I was sinking time and energy into something that was now becoming painful. And chances are, it would have very little payout. Why was I doing it? Was it for money? Accolades? Sharpening my axe? I lost the reason why I was working on this project. So, for a while, I decided I wasn't. I was no longer working on Feast of Fiends. And I no longer plan to. At least not for now. Isn't this channel dead? If you don't make your game, what's the point? Well, because I'm a creator. Just because the game is dead today, it doesn't mean it's dead forever. Some ideas keep coming back from the dead no matter how many times you put them down. And sometimes, when they do come back, I'm more prepared to approach them. It's happened to ideas I've had in the past, and it will happen to ideas I have in the future, too. I'm an indie dev, and having minor breakdowns is kind of part of the fun. If you thought I was done, you don't know me. I have other ideas. So many ideas. Some are actually better ideas, and in turn, they're also more daunting. And some ideas I have are really bad, but they're still fun concepts to pursue. I have more ideas than there are minutes in the year. And I already know where I'm heading next. My next idea? Oof, this one's gonna be a doozy. You know, but I'm also sure it's gonna be a stinker. Cause the idea's a real steaming pile. It's gonna possibly be the shittiest game ever made. I'm thinking I'm gonna finish a game I've started, but I never finished. See, I told you, they come back. It's a game I called Frank the Turd. Welcome to the next chapter in my devlog journey. Welcome to the devlog for Frank the Turd, the shittiest game ever made. I'm sorry for everyone waiting for updates on Feast of Fiends, and for those five of you who were really excited for it, and you now want to mourn its loss, I don't blame you. But remember, I haven't fully given up on it. It's just going to be archived in the backlogs. For now, my focus is shifting to something much less serious. Much less daunting. And if you want to get the latest updates on my next project, be sure to like, subscribe, and do any of that kind of stuff. From here on, I'm thinking I might take more of this approach to logging my progress. More introspection, and kind of treating this channel as a mind dump. Maybe even therapy with a whole bunch of strangers. Will it be consistent? Oh, probably not. Will it be top tier? I mean, I'm making it? Probably not. Will I have an inspirational journey and have my life change in ways I can't even imagine? Let's just try to get the next video out, okay? We'll see where we are in 10 years. But if I can help anyone by sharing my story, any of the work I do, it will be purposeful work. And that alone is a reason to keep doing this. Even if I never produce my dream game and I'm not one of the big names in the indie community, this will be worthwhile. So sincerely, to all who watch this far, you are awesome. As always, I have been Broccoli G515, your least favorite vegetable. And I thank you for watching. And I promise to you I'll finish my next endeavor. Will we ever see Feast of Fiends or Frank the Turd in our Steam libraries? I don't know. I can't promise anything else in life, so how can I promise that? But every day is a new opportunity to try. And since there is no trying, thanks Yoda. That means I'm doing, I'm making, I'm a creator because I create. And if you are a creator yourself, don't let anything, even yourself, stop you.
get out there and create something.